great. Come on, let's all look to see a dream. The sea of holes into the sea of green. I'm the Bourbon. I think we're near the sea of peace. Gather the senses. Where are the senses? Your sense of loyalty to country and to flag and to Smithsonian, to the space shuttle and apple pie. Start anew. Continue the quest. Rock, rock, rock. 
charging across the San Rafael Bridge. Five years, the bus was off again on its last magical mystery tour. Channel 7's Paul Jeske was on it too. It's in great shape, despite the fact that it's been a quarter of a century since writer Ken Kesey's psychedelic bus made its celebrated odyssey across America. Further, as it's known to its fans from Tom Wolfe's The Electric Kool Aid Acid Test, got a little extra attention this morning after spending the night parked behind a mansion in the ritzy Marin County community of Ross. It's even got a new sound system, courtesy of the Grateful Dead. We're off on the road. With the anthem of the beat generation ringing in their ears, Keezy and his reassembled band of merry pranksters boarded the bus and pulled away for a nostalgic trip to Berkeley. Keezy bought the bus to take a rowdy group of friends to the 1964 New York World's Fair. They were the original hippies, logical successors to Jack Kerouac and the beat generation. The 60s is what, where the anti-war movement came from. It's where the Greenpeace movement came from, and Earth First. That whole notion is that we're in relationship with the other living forces on this planet. That, that is directly out of that old hippie thinking. You know, brown rice for all. And the folks who had chance encounters with Kesey's bus today were delighted. <laughs> they remember. Geezy, who lives in Oregon now, has written a new book about the bus called The Further Inquiry. He's a grandfather now, and a lot more mellow than in the old days. We're not needing all those chemicals. We've become kind of Pavlovian. You ring the bus and the old dog hallucinates. <laughs> you don't even have to hand them the cookie anymore. When the bus pulled into Berkeley, old hog farm friend and city council candidate Wavy Gravy climbed aboard for a nostalgic visit. It isn't champagne music, and it ain't Lawrence Welk. He is Wavy Gravy. His real name is Hugh. My name is Hugh. Hugh Romney, but he probably hasn't been called that much since Woodstock, when he was master of ceremonies. Pretty impressive credentials for an old hippie who sees no need to change. Let's put a real clown in for a change. Nowadays, Wavy Gravy is part professional clown, part social worker, part activist. I speak for the homeless folks and the youth and uh, not so much the people with the stuff that want to keep it. Wavy Gravy still sounds like the old days. Today's event was a whistle-stop campaign like no other. In Berkeley, joked one blasé observer, Halloween Day seems to be a good excuse to just act normal. Yeah. Could we spill out, please, into the colorful Berkeley, the Athens of the West? Wavy Gravy and his entourage stopped here and there to press the flesh and trick or treat for UNICEF. Beep, beep, beep. You ever see this kind of campaign before? Sometimes back in the 60s. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Come on. As has often been observed, the 60s left quite a mark on these streets. Today, they left a few fresh marks. Daglo, have it for breakfast. It's really important to, to face the difficult stuff uh, with laughter. It's, it's, it's joy that gets you able to slide between the rock and the hard place. The magic bus wandered loudly through the neighborhoods to the last whistle stop, a park, just for fun. But did he raise any votes? Yeah, yeah, we watered them anyhow. They have to raise themselves. To a whole generation of Americans who grew up in the 60s, this bus is an icon, as much a piece of Americana as the Empire State Building or Mount Rushmore. And now the Smithsonian wants to acquire further. 
so they can add it to their permanent collection. In Berkeley, Paul Jeske, Channel 7 News. You're coming to the. Oh no, I can't make it. I gotta get back. I'm gonna ride to you as far as the uh, overpass, and then you're gonna stop and pick this guy back up. Oh, I see. Yeah. Good. Okay. Right. Right. So you are coming. Do they know that? You better tell them that. What'd you say? Where is Ken? Where are you at? He's up top. You're on top. Top front. How are we looking here? We're looking good. Move out. I'm pulling. Here we go, door shutting. My, my wire? You're wired, I can hear you. John's riding the motorcycle. I'll have to pack the things and go. That's right. Nice one. Don't come back. Sounds like the engine. Swanee off, off the port side. Swanee off the port side. Swanee off the port. Hey. That ought to be good stuff, Hunter. Good, good. Guys, Hunter who? If I didn't have any more hair than that, I'd sure wear a hat when I rode a motorcycle. <laughs> Bugs must drive you nuts. You, well, you don't have any more hair than that. Well, I don't ride a motorcycle either. <laughs> hey, where's that? Do bugs drive me nuts? No, I drive bugs nuts. Currently moving through Richmond, the beautiful new freeway, destination Berkeley, California. Cody's Bookstore, Andy Ross's shop. Fantastic outfit it is right on Telegraph Avenue in the heart of old, old Berkeley. Spaceships, space people. And I know you, you kind of have that human form down. Is this, uh, you're not human, really. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep I'm, this. I'm, I'm, I'm part. I'm part. You're part. And, and the yeah. Um, my father was human. Oh, I see. Kind of like Spot. What do you think? This is me. I think I look cool. Yeah. I think if you had some of those. 
Okay, Mike, right down here. Right down here? There's a bar in my way. No, I don't yeah. think the bar is in your way. That's my name. Well, my name is Lori, but they call me Naughty Amanda. And I have another name, and it's Mountain Girl the Second. But actually, I really love this bus. I love everything about this bus. I love the people on this bus. I love the karma on this bus. I love the men on this bus. In fact, I think I was always born to be on this bus, actually. But really, see, I think I was like a throwback. And I made it to like the 80s and the 90s, and then this bus like came in town one day. And I jumped on it and I never wanted to get off, but it made me leave, so I cried. But now it's here again, so I'm a big fan, and I sold my soul to be on this bus. And if Mr. Ken is watching us now, I, I love him, and um, I think he's God. What, what do you mean? Hell? Well, actually, see, I don't believe in heaven or hell. I don't believe in Christianity or, or Satanism. I just believe in like a world in between. Like, you know, like I believe in like this astral plane. And, um, I like ass, demons in the astral plane. If I could ever ride the bus, if I could actually ever even be part of that. Demons or anything up there who would even get me through to even touch this bus, to even feel this bus. Because I can really like channel energy hello and like I touch this bus and I feel where it's been. I feel who's been on it. I just I just get zonked just by being on this bus and it's just like I grew with it for days and I love it. This is really intense. As a matter of fact, I feel like you're in it. I, mean, it up my I want this bus. I want to ride this bus. I want to feel this bus. I love this bus. It represents freedom to me. It represents what people would like to do and are afraid to do or feel they can't do, but would like to do. It's been happening for 25 years. I wish I lived on this bus. Jerry Garcia. I wish I was this bus. Great blend. <laughs> you are this bus. I am this bus. The bus is us. The bus is us. This is Berkeley. This is Berkeley. All right. And you're all invited. I haven't missed a concert in 11 years. Let the bus be us. Jerry's kids on tour, come on. We'll be the first one to reach out the last one to leave. I'll watch out for you. I haven't missed one in 11 years, come on. Go on tour with us, go down, drive us down to LA and then Warfield and Arizona and then Colorado and then Oakland. What can we do to make it the best bus watching trip we can imagine? Hmm? Must be something we can do. We can have some drinks. Yeah. We can order burgers out. Let's Get, have a good Are you going to dinner, Ken, or are you staying? A drink run? Yeah, yeah no, drink run. Like drink run, good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Kool Aid. Yeah. Drink. <laughs> drink. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'll buy if you'll fly. I mean, the, the, there's got to be a liquor store nearby. Yeah, right across the street. Okay, so we're in paradise, actually. Bert tries to marry prankster. Peace and love. Love to watch him do her and Ken Casey 100% because I'm a bum and I'm a deadhead and I'm a hippie and I'll never change the way I live for absolutely nothing in the world unless you yeah. have any small change. <laughs> yeah, and I'd go, son of a bitch. Is that an aspiration? Could be. Could be an aspiration. Today yeah, we did a push start. That was my first. Oh, here's We're rolling forward. <laughs> <laughs> We've danced and now we had to pay the piper. Turn right. We don't want to turn right. We're just in the middle of the 
It's okay, it'll grow again. Yeah, it will. You know, leave it like that, it'll grow out. Yeah, it'll hey, grow you, again. Hey, is that one of your covers over there? Yeah, it's still the same. Where are you? 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 Anything come to your mind right as you walk down this path again? Yeah, the thing that comes to my mind that these are some low rent people living in here. I mean, look at these cars. This looks like Oregon. This looks like something you'd see in Oregon up there. I mean, this was a classy, high-rent place. Look what they've done to it. Look at these trees they've cut out of there. Look at that scene they did to that big old bay tree there. Cut that all out of there. Now you're gonna get it. What do you think, MG? Absolutely. Where's the Zen people, man? Nice Dharma people. Just said, yeah, it's just a messy, messy. God darn, look at this place. Look at this. Hey, oh yeah, and then back here is the old uh, uh, lot where we always kept the uh, extra appliances. <laughs> <laughs> Another elephant's going to do. Almost as good as new. Now we can use these things. Hey, let's get some of this stuff on the box. Here's Keezy's chair. This is the chair that Keezy wrote his sometimes a great notion. And no, it wasn't that, it was something else. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, see that? Look at that. With the Ron Boise statue in the back of it. <laughs> yes, Ron, if you look up there, this is the River Tree House. It's a three story affair, like Robert Russo. Shutters. The bathroom was on the third floor. The hot tub was right down over there. A lot of things have changed. Go on up there, Mike. Go on right up in there. Feel the essence. This tree house. Once when I was very drunk and I hardly like to get too high on it because I know what happened. On the swing. So it was right between these two stumps, right up about there. And where was it that you fell in this nostalgic journey backward in time on the bus further? I think it was right there on this little patch. I'll put an X over here, Swan. Seems like uh, Richie for uh, was right there. Uh, X marks the spot where Mike Hagen fell drunk on his butt. Here for a year. Right in this spot right here. We had, we had a big smash and box free. And we sort of a little canopy over it. So we it. And I slept there and it Rose, man, it was so cold back here. You had a tent? No, oh no, we didn't have anything like that. You have right a tarp over here, or anything? Hagen had his screw shack built right over here. 
You mean... And the you, back house is right, was right in this area here. Well, you, you said you stay there for a year. In this little grove right there. I mean, a year round? Yeah, year, well, around it, it did rain, and then we'd have to go inside to sleep. But But I had January? plastic over it. Yeah, sure. Well, it doesn't get that cold here. It goes right to freezing. What kind of sleeping bag? Anything. Lots of different stuff. I had a pretty good sleeping bag. Remember. <laughs> Just whatever. Mostly we stayed up at night and slept during the day. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you know what I did.